to tell me who's simple. Who's simple? Who's he? Yes. A what? A saint. Yes. Yes. Say that loud. The leader of the apostles? That's what you said? Yes, he is. So, St. Paul is this man who's like me, a little older than me, but uh, yeah, we're the same generation. And he loved his church, okay? He loved his religion, and he was committed to his faith. But Paul had two problems, and that's why we're talking about his conversion today. He had two problems. One, who can tell me? Yes. He was... He wasn't nice all the time, okay? And in the first reading we heard, what was he doing when Jesus appeared to him? Where was he going? Yes? He was persecuting Jesus, so he wasn't nice all the time. Sometimes he was persecuting Jesus by doing what? Say that again? Yeah, killing other people. So he's capturing Christians and bring them to Jerusalem to be put to jail. That's what St. Paul was doing. And he was doing that in the name of God. He was pretending serving God. Is that serving God? Does God ask us to kill people? No. So he was not serving God. And God said, Paul, you need to change. This is not the way you serve me. You need to change. And what happened to Paul? Yes. God got him blind. How? How? Yes. He wasn't obeying God. And God came to meet Paul, right? Where did God meet with Paul? Yes. Yeah, he was on... That will come. On a horse, going where? I'll give you a hint. D.A. He was going to die. No, he he was coming from Jerusalem, going to Damascus. Okay? And God said, Paul, you need to stop. You need to stop killing my people. You need to convert. You need conversion. You need to, co- to be conformed to my version. And the version of God is what? Love, is compassion, is understanding, is welcoming. Okay? So God wanted Paul to be conformed to his own version. And that's why you find him in the road and you ask him, Paul, why are you persecuting me? Why are you killing me, Paul? And the question of the answer of Paul was, what did Paul answer to Jesus? You can't remember. I will tell you. Who are you, sir? So that means Paul didn't even know Jesus. He didn't even know God. And he was killing people in the name of God. He thought he was doing the will of God. So what was he doing? The will of who? If not God, he was serving his own ideas, his own understanding of God. Yes. Yeah, somehow the devil, because the devil is the one who kills people, right? He's the one who brings us to killing and to disobey, right? So, first thing, conversion is to be conformed to God, okay? to imitate Jesus, to live like Jesus. And that's what Jesus is taking Paul. Second thing, when Paul fall from the horse, right? They start what with Jesus? When I do this, what does that mean? What is this gesture means? Huh? What? Not exactly. What are we doing right now, me and you? We are talking, okay? Start the conversation. In the word conversion, there is conversation, okay? In conversion, there is... In conversion, there is... 
conversation. Conversion means conversation. Be in relationship with God. Paul was not in relationship with God. He was in relationship with himself, with his principle, with all those ideas he had about God. And now Jesus was telling him, Paul, I need you to change. I need you to talk to me. I need you to listen to me. And listening to God means God is going to tell you what to do. And he told Paul what to do. Who can remember what Jesus told Paul? To be the leader of the apostles, somehow, but exactly. No. It was a long sentence, right? You didn't keep the whole sentence. One word? No. Okay, I will help you. I didn't, I don't know the whole sentence myself, but I will tell you. Jesus said to Paul, you need to go, you'll find a man, and that man will tell you, will help you understand what it means to serve me, what it means to be my friend, what it means to be in relationship with me. And today, the conversion of Paul is your conversion. Now you're the one. You're not going to fall from the horse, Some of you can ride a horse? No? Who can? Oh, you can. Good. But you're not falling, right? No. How many can drive? How many can bike? Oh. Would you like God to make you fall from your bike to understand? No. You you understand, right? So today God is calling all of us here to be conformed to his version. And the version of God is love. God is calling us to love. Because you know sometimes you're like simple. You don't kill people, but sometimes you don't obey to your parents, right? Sometimes you lie. Sometimes you cheat at school. You do, right? No? Okay. Yeah, I know your parents are here and your teachers. You don't want to say that loud. Okay. But sometimes you argue with your siblings, right? And all that, God is calling us today to change. He's calling us to change those behavior, to be in dialogue. When I don't agree with you, instead of fighting, what do I do? We have a conversation. Okay? I try to understand you. You try to understand me. Okay? When we don't agree on something, what do we do? We fight? No. What we do? We talk. Right? And try to do that every day. That is what we call conversion. Okay? We have a conversation because that conversation will bring us to be conformed to who? To God. Say it loudly. To be conformed to? God. God. Do you want to be conformed to God? So, and even the parents, they're saying yes with all of us. Conversion means to be conformed to God. Conversion means to be in conversation with God. So we can know sure for sure what God wants from us and we can bring that message of God to the whole world. Okay? And as today you're praying, let's pray for the conversion of ourselves, for the conversion of our families, that peace may reign in our families, for the conversion of the church and all the members of the church, so that we may live in the will of God. Amen? Amen? Thank you for joining us today. Our digital ministry provides a valuable service to parishioners and visitors alike. Daily and Sunday Mass, funerals, weddings, and fireside chats, among other things, can be seen locally, throughout the country, and even the world, in real time or at one's convenience. If you would like to support this effort, please go to olphglenview.org. Click on the gold donate button and then the Sunday giving icon to make a contribution on our secure online giving portal. 
We sincerely appreciate your past and ongoing support. Thank you for helping us continue this ministry. God bless.